Okay, so now we're going to take animations a step further and talk about uh, having multiple animations on one graphic or one piece of text. And I'm going to play this uh, slide for you here. And as you'll see, what we see here is the zoom in, and then we see a kind of a flash at the end of each one of them. Okay, so to see that a little more clearly, I'm just going to take one of these copy it and put it down on a fresh slide. I'll just paste it right there and we'll see it. Okay, see that flash at the end? So that's two animations. All right. Now, um, there are three ways of changing, manipulating the animations. One is up here in this window by changing the duration and the delay and that sort of thing. Uh, another one is sliding these little yellow boxes around uh, because that's going to change the amount of time. See, if I move this, I'm making this longer, all right? And this, if I have that, when, you know, I'm, I'm delaying it, I'm moving it over to there. Now, this is great for little tweaks and things like that, but to have the maximum amount of control, you want to double click on one of these things and it's going to bring up this window that gives you all the options that you can have. So it gives you the maximum control. Alright, so I'm going to delete these right now so that we can start fresh. And I'll just click remove. And now we just have our plain old image that we just brought in. Okay, so you can put it anywhere you want on the slide and uh, have it any size or you can turn it around like this by grabbing that guy. Uh, whatever you want. Okay, so the first animation that we want is to be our zoom. So here it is, the zoom. All right. Now say right away we say, well, okay, I'm going to make this a little bit longer. Okay, there you go. Now to add a second animation, you simply click up here on add animation and choose anything you want. Uh, there's a whole lot right there in front of you and there's also these menus uh, which you might not be able to see, but below <laughs> the screen here, uh, let's see if I can get it up. Yes, there we go. Uh, you can see all of uh, uh, many more effects there as well. So let's just try, um, let's just try teeter and see what that does. So I added teeter to the end here and I'm going to play it. All right. Now, if this was a slide coming on, my first animation, I want that first animation, perhaps, to happen right away. So I'm going to say with previous. Otherwise, when I advance my slide, I'm going to have to click it for it to happen if I leave it set to on click. I'm going to need to have that happen right away, so with previous. So let's just see how this looks, and we'll see the... Okay, so it's zooming in and teetering at the same time. And we can see visually why that's happening. Both these things are right on top of each other. If I move this over here, okay, that teetering action is going to happen later. So I'll hit play. Okay, it's coming at the end. So maybe I like it just to happen halfway through. Okay. Or maybe I want it to, because of what my text is doing, to, ha to happen much later. So I get the zoom in, it stays still, and then teeters after at the end. All right, so maybe I think that's just not exciting enough, and I want to add another animation. Maybe it's going to happen at the same time as the animation I just did, or maybe it's going to happen uh, with the animation. And that's just where you line up those little yellow boxes. So um, let's just try something crazy here. Spin. Okay. And right away we'll just play that. Okay. Now the first time it plays, it probably doesn't play the way it is supposed to. But we'll try it again. Okay. And then it teeters. And then it spins. So maybe I want all these things to happen at the same time. And now it can get a little cumbersome, and it's not very accurate, 
to start messing around and trying to move these little yellow boxes and lengthen and shorten them to what you want them to do, the best thing to do and the most accurate thing to do is to uh, double click on the animation and then come over here to timing and we say, okay, I don't want this to happen on click. No, I want it to happen with the previous or after the previous, but let's say with the previous. And so now we hit OK and then we hit play. So now that spin is happening with the other one and then the teeter happens. Oh, you know what? I want to see what that uh, um, teeter does when it goes after the previous. Okay. So we're going to get teeter. Okay. Now I can't see my teeter because it's happening with the spin. So that's not going to work either. So I'll go back here, double click on this, and I want my teeter to happen. I'll say after previous, but seeing how it's up there, I want it to come after my spin. And the way that I do that is I just left click this and drag it down so that now my teetering is happening after my spinning. So spin and then the teeter. Alright, so maybe finally I have enough of this guy and I want him to go off the screen. And uh, you can either advance to another slide because you know you may want to show something altogether different. So that's one way of getting them off the screen. The other way is actually animating them off the screen. So you click on add animation here again and you're going to want to go down I'm going to bring this little window up for you and you're going to choose an exit effect and there's lots of exit effects here so each one of these there's no preview for these unfortunately um, you would have to test out and that whimpering sound is my dog underneath the desk here and not me <laughs> so here we are and we want to choose an exit so let's just try a basic one fly out okay and then we want it to say oh well I don't want it to fly out the bottom I want it to uh, fly out uh, to the left like that alright and as you can see this exit effect is in the wrong place it's gonna be happening at the same time so let's what I always do is I just double click on your I know it's gonna be wrong and um, you can choose you know how it comes on or how it comes off the screen I can kind of smooth the start so it kind of leaves a little bit slower uh, choose my timing I don't want it to happen on the click I want it to happen automatically after the previous animation and I uh, yeah 0.5 seconds seems pretty good I like how fast that is and I click on OK and then I click play and there we go. So we've got four animations here. Zoom in, teeter, and sorry, zoom in and turn and teeter and exit. Now the last thing I'll show you, which is pretty cool, is what's called the animation painter. And this is just a big time uh, saver. Um, but animation painter is the wrong word in my opinion for what they call this thing. We're not creating, to me, I thought, oh, that's going to be me creating a, a, an animation. It's not. It's just copying all these animations onto another graphic. So I'll just grab another graphic here. Uh, let's say this one. Just copy it. Come down here. Paste it in. Resize it a little bit. Alright, so I choose this guy over here. I want to copy these animations. I click on Animation Painter and then when I come down here it's got a little paintbrush and I just then have to click on the animation that I want it to copy and it's going to do the same thing and you'll see all those animations come up here. Now let's play that. <coughs> 